Hey guys! Alright guys, we're here to do the second video on this Monday doubleheader. Normally this is a video that's requested by the band, but today we're not doing that. Today we're doing a video that was requested by someone who knows the band, who knows us, and thought it was a good idea to request it on behalf of the band, because the band doesn't know who the fuck we are. Yeah. Did I break it down? I think I broke it down. Yeah. Alright, so this the name- This can go two ways though. This can go away where we really like this, and that guy gets praised from the band, oh thank you for showing them, or we absolutely hate this. And they're like, why the fuck did you send our video to these guys? <laughs> Honestly, when you said this could go two ways, I'm like, everything in life can always go two ways. But those, are, but those are actually the two ways. Those are the only this, ways. Those are the only ways that this can go. By the way, the name of the band is Dust In Mine, and the name of the song is Break. Break. You know when I, when I see Break, you know who I think of? Uh, Chris Jericho? No. Why? Break it down. Oh no, that's uh, DX. That's DX. Well, break down the walls. Okay, you saved yourself there. I saved there. myself. You saved yourself there at the end. No, I Sorry, was thinking... Break It Down was in my head, but I had to... I was thinking of th Three Days Grace. Oh. They also have a song called Break. All right. Wow. So that's that's deep cuts. Yeah. That's really deep cuts. Um, are you ready for this? Yeah. Just in mind, Break? All right, let's do it.
God. You, you can go... Uh, can I go first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me if you felt the same way. As the song starts, first of all, I see the female singer and I'm like... Well, I, I knew she was the singer because she didn't have any instruments. So yeah. I'm sure she was not there to play a tambourine. So anyways, the song starts, I see her, I'm like, oh, female fronted band. And I hate that term, but I mean, wh what else am I supposed to call it? Yeah. So I, I see her, I'm like, oh, we're going to get some female vocals. This this is already but starting to... But the sound was giving me vibes that she was going to also hit us with some hard hard vocals. Okay, I'm 100% with you. I was thinking you. a whole ginger type of feeling with this one. A, a, a little bit like Arch Enemy Light, if, if you will. Like you know I what feel I mean? More ginger. Okay, uh, 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 let's more, agree to uh, agree disagree. To disagree. To disagree, which is something that I'm saying right, right now. now. All right, so I see her. I see the vibe of the song. I'm like, okay, I, I'm, I'm, I think this is gonna be in my wheelhouse. Yeah. Then he starts singing. I'm like, what the fuck? What is this? Like, where did he come from? Yeah. Like, is he the guy driving the band to the rehearsals? So they they felt obligated to give him some lines in this song. Because at the beginning, because I was not expecting his voice, and it's it kind of... That, the way he's delivering, it didn't... It's, it's almost like he was rapping. Yeah, but it was also something I haven't heard. I don't, I've heard before, but I don't think it's really in my brain. Um, it, it kind of took me back to what I said at the beginning, Three Days Grace. It kind of started off like... No, because three, days... three, three Days Grace doesn't do stuff like that. I, I've heard it before, but it's not that common. Okay. So when it happened... I was. It took me a while to get into his, the way he was delivering because his vocals in general were good. It was just the way he was delivering that was kind of the, the delivery. Off guard. Okay, I'm. I'm with you. So far, I'm 100 percent with you. I didn't mind the tone of his voice. The, the, was the way he was singing that it, it kind of I, uh, because I was not expecting him, and I was definitely not expecting that delivery. It kind of caught me off guard. So it took me a while to get into it. Yeah. Then she started singing. I'm like, wow, she has great voice too. Like, and I love the bass in the track, but, but before we get into the, into the actual music, music talking about from just a vocal perspective. So he's singing, she's singing. And I'm like, wow, this song has, has some bite, but vocally feels almost more like a hard rock song. So it feels like a hard rock song vocally, but musically it feels a lot heavier than your run of the mill a uh, uh, hard rock song. And I was thinking about Three Days Grace because I just mentioned Three Days Grace before. So I'm, I'm thinking about this. And then after the second chorus, I said to myself, man, th this song needs like a kick to the balls. And I like what's happening here, but if, if this is, if, if going back to the previous video, right? If this is going to be on loop, if they're going to repeat this formula throughout the whole track, it's, it's going to get boring really fast, really quick. Because once you go, once once the 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 the, the brand new smell of you getting uh, kind of like caught off guard by his vocals, once that wears off, like I, I need I need something that hits me afterwards to like oh fuck no I was not expecting this you know you know what I mean to kind of like you know re-energize you for for the track. So I'm thinking in my mind, what can they do to to give me that? And I'm like, man, I, I'm not sure if harsh vocals is the way. But the song needs to get somehow heavier. Bit, yeah. Somehow heavier. But I was thinking harsh vocals because I was thinking... Well, that's the easiest way to do it. Yeah, but uh, it was because the way it started, I thought that she was going to give us some harsh vocals. Especially the way the song was going. But then when she didn't and he didn't, I was like, okay, maybe they'll come a little bit later. Because this still calls for a little bit of harsh vocals. Uh, just the vibe it's giving me. Yeah. And then he came out with the harsh vocals. I'm like, there you go. And the delivery was incredible. And, I, and then that's when I started to like his delivery a little bit more. Because he kind of used the the same very similar style. very similar style of delivery that he did for his clean vocals or more angry vocals for the harsh vocals and it worked really well. I know, I agree with you. So when that hit in the song, I was like, these guys read my mind. This is how you build the track. Yeah. This is the whole point that I mentioned in the previous video of you taking two steps back and try to see the forest from the trees. Try to understand exactly how can we make this song better? How can we uh, energize the track? How can we reignite the attention of the listener as they progress through the song? So the song doesn't become repetitive. Like, you know what I mean? So that the, it doesn't sound the same, you know, just on loop. And that's exactly what the track needed. It, it needed something like that. And his delivery, his tone, the way it came in, the power that it brought in. I was like, these guys, it's like they were reading my mind. Absolutely perfect. I loved it. Then the song became complete. Yeah. And the song is complete. It's exactly what I wanted out of a track like this. You know? The guy is going to get praise. That's the way it went. I, but you know what? I actually think it worked better. 
It worked perfect the way it is. Yeah. I, I'm not even going to... Vocally, the track is perfect. You shouldn't touch this. Vocally, the track is perfect. Because he had so much anger in the, in, in the harsh vocals. It was almost like the... The, it, it, the way the song feels, it's almost like it was building up to that moment. Like the stuff was brewing inside, brewing inside, brewing inside, and then finally it's just like, boom, it yeah. just came out. You know what I mean? I loved it. I thought his delivery was on, on, on point. The anger in his voice was on point. The song in general got heavier. And in, in, it didn't just get heavy when, when he was singing the harsh vocals at that time. It kind of stayed, the perception that I have as a listener is that once the harsh vocals hit, the song became heavier and stayed heavy from that point all the way to the end. It became a heavier, it, it, it was like the knob was, was 10 and somebody moved it all the way to 11 for the rest of the track. And then her voice, because, because now you get hit with his harsh vocals, so then her voice creates this, this unbalance in the track that you get this aggression and then she comes in with this incredible melody in her voice. So you're, you're constantly like going up and down, up and down with the track. I, vocally, I, I love this song. Yeah. Such an energetic track. Has energy, like you could feel it. Now, musically, what, what did you think? Well, musically, it was exactly. I mean, the song needed the, that bite to it, especially during her, yeah, her voice, because her voice is beautiful. So, I mean, you need something with that that crunch. It had a lot of melody and a lot of uh, uh, a lot of heaviness to kind of draw you down, but still pick you up at the same time. The, the song, uh, musically, by the way, before I say what I'm gonna say, I love the bass on this track. Yeah. I absolutely love the bass on this track. Not that I, I mean, the drums, the guitars are phenomenal, but the bass needs a shout out because the bass on this track really helps bring the mood of the song down. Now this song is, is like bungee jumping, musically, you know, because you jump, you hit the low, but as soon as you hit a low, you, it brings you right back up again. Yeah. And then as soon as you head back up again, You're it takes you right down. back down. And, and here you are going up and down, up and down. It's very steady until you hit those harsh vocals. Once you hit those harsh vocals, it becomes like pure up and down bungee jumping. Like it's just a very energetic kind of track. It just the the music itself just just creates energy within it, within itself. It's just I, man, I'm I'm blown away. I guess the dude is gonna get some praises. Yeah. All right. So they're not gonna chew his head off for sending this video our way. I'm glad he sent this video our way. Yeah. This is this is great. This was a lot of fun. All right, Dust in Mind. The name of the song is Break. Guys, let us know your thoughts on the band on this video in the comment section. That's why the comment section is there. Not for you guys to sp spawn, to spam the porn links, which is something that's happening now on YouTube. Really? Oh my God, like you can't post a video without getting at least 10 porn links and not even good ones. Oh. Trust me, I've clicked on a few. It's just horrible. So uh, don't use the comment section for that, please. Just let's and talk about- the good ones. Exactly. Uh, just let's talk about this track. Let's talk about this video. Let us know, hit us up. And uh, let's have some fun with it. Let's run with it. All right, for this Monday doubleheader, we are out. Come back tomorrow. We'll have more videos for you. See ya. See ya.